Hi everybody, it's Mr. Kalala here. Uh, made a little video here to help you uh, kind of refresh your memory on how to solve fractional unit rates. Here we go. So we have a question. It talks about Mark. He's training for a race. He runs three-eighths of a mile in one-third of an hour. How far does Mark run in one hour and how far in two and a half hours? Uh, quick reminder, this is unit rates. Remember, a unit rate always has a one in it. So if we look over here, when it says one hour, that's our unit rate. Now, in order to solve this problem, we talked before about wanting to be organized. We're going to make ourselves a quick table. You just need two columns, or two rows, rather, and four columns. Now, if you remember, sometimes we use that fourth column, sometimes we don't. In this case, we are going to end up using it. The first column right here, that's going to be for our labels. In this case, we want to put hours on the bottom and miles on the top. Remember, the bottom should always be whatever you're finding one of. And in this case, we are doing one hour. The second column is always going to be information from the problem. So that's where we're going to put three-eighths of a mile and one-third of an hour. The third column right here, that's where we're always going to have that unit rate. So we're going to put one hour. So what we need to think about is how do we take one-third of an hour and turn it into one hour? So anything divided by itself is 1. So we can just do 1 third divided by 1 third. But what we have to do is remember that when we divide by a fraction, we're really multiplying by the reciprocal, which is when you flip it over. Remember, we, we keep change flip when we divide by fractions. So what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be doing 1 third times 3 over 1, which actually gives us 3 over 3, which is, of course, equal to 1. And then we multiply the top by the same exact thing. So times 3 over 1 on the top. So what we're going to end up doing here is 3 times 3, which is 9. So we're going to end up with 9 and 8 times 1, which is 8. So in one hour, Mark can run 9 eighths of a mile. Now, if, if it only asked us for one hour, we would make that into a mixed number and we'd be done. But what we want to do is we want to take this fourth column right here, and that's where we're going to find out how far he goes in two and a half hours. So we're going to plug in two and a half. And luckily for us, now that we have one hour, we can just multiply one times anything we want. So I'm going to multiply it here by five over two. Now five over two, you should know that is two and a half, right? I made it an improper fraction because I want to multiply the top by the same thing, and I need it to be a fraction to, in order to multiply by 5 eighths. So to finish this problem, I'm quickly just going to do 9 times 5 and 8 times 2. That, of course, gives me a final answer of 45 over 16. And the last thing I need to do is take that and make it into a mixed number. So I'm going to finish it off by just saying that, hey, that equals 2 and 13 sixteenths. That's my final answer, and I'm done right there. Hope this helps as a quick reminder, and you're going to try a few of these on your own.